What's up guys, Aiden here, Ace on Landscaping. Welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we're finally getting into part two of the back and front yard hover seeding, and that's starter fertilizers. Without further ado, let's get into the video. And so some of you may ask, what is a starter fertilizer? So a starter fertilizer is pretty much any type of fertilizer that contains N, P, and K. Nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. If you have a little bit of both, you're gonna be okay. As my buddy Jake the Lawn Kid says, N, P, K, you'll be okay. So a starter fertilizer usually has more phosphorus because phosphorus is used to help grow root development. Nitrogen is used to help the plant growth and potassium is also used to help the root growth. All three together is gonna to help your seed germinate. So whether you have a fertilizer that's branded starter fertilizer, or you're just using a 10-10-10 mixed with malorganite, both can be considered a starter fertilizer and both are good for your lawn. So my lawn, I split it into three sections. One section is getting the Carbon Earth Company 1820 or 8244 X-Start. The other section is getting Green County Fertilizer's 16212 Green Pop. And the other section is not even getting a starter fertilizer. It's Carbon Earth's company's 818X Green. So we're gonna be comparing all three of those sections to how they turned out in the next video. But this video is gonna be all of our applications. And so our first section is gonna be the front yard and we applied 8244 X start. That contains 8% nitrogen, 24% phosphorus, and 2% potassium. It also has two different types of nitrogen. I'm not sure what they're called. I'll put it up on the screen. One is slow release and one is fast release. So it's kind of a combo of both. You get a fast release for easy growth and a slow release for later growth. So that is great. It also contains biochar, which is really good for the roots, which is a chicken manure based like thing. We're going to do a supplemental video this winter explaining more on the Carbon Earth products and what exactly biochar is. We applied this in our front yard at the rate of 20 or 3 pounds per thousand to give us 0.24 which is just under a quarter pound in. I went light on it because I do want to fertilize this lawn several more times this winter um, or this fall because so I went light so that I can have more applications this year. If you want to learn more about what the active ingredients are in X Start, I will be doing supplemental videos this winter as well as you can check out my starter fertilizer comparison video of X Start and X Green or Green Pop from last week or a few weeks ago. I will leave a link in the top right hand corner as well as linked in the description down below. And so the next product we used was on our back and our back section in the middle of the backyard and our side yard, we applied 16212 Green Pop. That's from Green County Fertilizer. We are following the next DIY lawn and Green County's uh, plan for how to do your lawn this fall. If you want to see that video, I will leave it linked in the top right hand corner as well as linked in the description down below. So Green Pop is 16212, contains 16% 16 nitrogen, 21% phosphorus and 2% potassium. As you can tell, these two are starter fertilizers because they contain more phosphorus. But as long as you have a little bit of both, you're gonna be okay, a little bit of everything. NPK, you'll be okay, as I said before. But with that, let's get into the next product. Also, I'll have more content on this product this winter as a supplemental video if you're interested in more of that product. In our last, last section, we applied the 818X screen. That is from Carbon Earth Company. It contains 8% nitrogen, 1% phosphorus, and 8% potassium. Now, as you all may guess, that product has biochar, like the most of their products do. We will be doing more content on this product coming up this winter, but I thought this was very interesting. It contains 1% phosphorus. As all the others were high in phosphorus, this one only has 1% phosphorus. This is great because it's a good example of you don't need a ton of phosphorus to have good seed and good root growth. Now with that, yes, this is my grandfather's lawn and maybe we can have some content coming up on that maybe next year. But with that, I'm gonna roll some B-roll I have from the day I did all the, um, all of the uh, fertilizing.
Okay, so we just applied the 16212 green pop to this section. Now we're gonna do three ounces per thousand of RGS, and then we're gonna water, 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 water it in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the box down below. But with that, I'm Aiden from Maze Lawn Landscaping. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.